Uh, of course, uh, uh, having a, a severe disease like asthma, like severe asthma, uh, is impacting itself on quality of life. But when you have also uh, adverse events related to your treatment, uh, uh, this uh, quality of life is even more impacted and even more uh, deteriorated. Uh, so the impact is very high. Uh, and the impact is not only on quality of life, but also on, uh, on the health-related costs. Uh, in fact, uh, we are going to publish, hopefully, in the next few weeks, months, uh, a study, a pharmacoeconomic uh, evaluation, a pharmacoeconomic model, uh, created uh, uh, according to the current uh, known literature uh, and uh, the current uh, available uh, cost for each single event uh, and we applied this pharmacoeconomic model to the real life m data of our Italian registry of severe asthma and uh, the costs of uh, uh, mm, uh, of re re just related only related to oral corticosteroids treatment adverse events uh, uh, are really huge uh, on in the level of uh, uh, of uh, um, uh, 40, 50 uh, um, millions uh, euros per year, more than uh, uh, patients with mild to moderate asthma. So it's a huge uh, impact on, uh, on the healthcare system. Uh, well, several are the, the strategies we can use. First of all, uh, uh, increasing the, the adherence to inhaled treatment uh, and that will reduce the possibility to use oral corticosteroids. So this is a, a huge uh, uh, and uh, an important uh, aim we have to, to achieve. Uh, moreover, we have some pharmacological strategies such as uh, well, for allergic patients, we can also maybe consider allergy immunotherapy, but for sure, uh, the, the newest drugs, uh, which are biologic treatments, uh, uh, biologic treatments uh, are really able to reduce the use of oral corticosteroids uh, in these patients. So these will be probably the, uh, one of the main target uh, uh, and the main outcome of uh, uh, cortic of, of severe asthmatics uh, put it in a biological treatment. So the outcome can be the reducing the whole corticosteroids need and therefore also all the, the side effects and the costs related to the side effects. Well, the newest one are actually, as I said before, biologic treatments. Uh, uh, we started more than 10 years ago with one drug, uh, an anti-IgE monoclonal antibody, omalizumab. Uh, now it's a reality and we can use in clinical practice anti-IL-5. So for those patients uh, who are uh, having uh, eosinophilic asthma, eosinophilic severe asthma, even without allergy, which is uh, uh, a great proportion of patients, and uh, probably in the next future we will see other drugs, other biological drugs coming to the market. Uh, for example, drugs uh, acting more upper in the, in the pathway, in the inflammatory pathway, such as uh, anti-IL-413, therefore uh, interacting directly on all the T helper 2, TH2 uh, uh, pathways, and possibly even higher uh, directly interacting on, uh, on an epithelial cytokine such as TSLP, which will be probably uh, effective not only on TH2 side, but also on non-TH2, non-eosinophilic asthma. So uh, we really entered, already entered, we are within a new era in treatment of severe asthma, the era of biologics in severe asthma, and uh, this era is uh, uh, is, it will be for sure exciting for researchers and clinicians uh, and hopefully for patients uh, uh, because uh, uh, the, the primary aim of all of us is to treat the best, uh, to give the best treatment to the patients.